Welcome to the show. This is uh, episode number seven. It's Big D's at it again. Today's topic is going to be about crabs in a bucket. So stay tuned. And uh, if you can, like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe again. Thank you. So today's topic is old school, you know, crabs in a bucket. Some of y'all don't know what that means. Some of y'all have to understand today what it is it all about. Some people don't want to see you survive and be successful. They'd rather see you fall. If you ever notice and look at the media, look at what goes on, look at your posts, look at everything. You'll get more likes and more hits and comments on people when you've fallen down negative. The fights, this, that, and the other. If you put something on there, you just graduated, and then pretty much you're not going to get the likes. But if you've got a fight on there, then they worried about that. So people are looking more on the downfall than they are on the uh, uprising and to bring you up. So I'm going to tell you, you know, I have people telling me, oh, man, yeah, I seen your show. I said, you subscribe yet? No, but, but man, I need to be on that. I need to be on that. So then, like, I don't even feel like they even watched the whole show, either episode that they said they watched. Okay. And then on top of that, the only way they're going to subscribe is they get on my channel. Right. They want to get on an episode so they can go look at me and look at me. I don't mind. I'll put people on here all day. We can crack jokes, talk seriously of what it is. But I'm just saying, you know, you, you got a business out there and you'll have people that don't know you and support you faster than the people that know you. That doesn't make sense to me. We all talking about we need to make it. We need to do this. We need to do that. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. So many people out here, uh, if you have a hot dog stand, they'll go across the street and they'll come over to you eating a hot dog from across the street, even though you sell hot dogs. They'll go to somebody else and then sit there and kick it with you like you ain't even noticed they got a hot dog in their hand. This is crazy. I've been through it. And I've seen it several times up there on uh, last Thursdays. So all I'm saying is crabs in a bucket. These folks would rather see you on your uprise, pull you back down to be down with them. And as the next man, crab, rise, they're gonna pull him back down. Instead of saying, hold on, let's all get on the edge and tip it over, we all can make it, right? They can't do that. They more rather crabs in a bucket and pull you back down. So I'm just saying, if y'all got people on your hip and you think they all cool, see if they invested into you or they just want the free hookups, right? The people around you, do they wanna pay for the stuff that you're doing? Do they want to be a part of what you're doing? Or do they want to be exposed while, you, while you're doing what you're doing? A lot of them expose themselves, and you don't say nothing. You still ride with them, you know? But this 2019. Stop riding with those folks. Give them the boot. You can come back around. You can employ them later. Put them on the bottom of the list later. But I'm just saying, it's too many people thinking the same thing. Oh yeah, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on that. And as you're working on it, those same people around you are never interested because you're doing something positive for yourself. And while you're doing something positive, they waiting on your downfall. As you fall, what happens? They go, oh man, and you know, let's go somewhere and have a shot and talk about your bad times. Oh, I was trying to make it and you had a way to help me make it. You didn't do that. And then when they want to go have a shot, they want you to pay for the shot. I think it's tripping crazy so all i'm saying is you guys really think about who you got around you look at your five closest start something and see if they with you right you can see it right now if you already got something going they might say they close to you but they close enough to you so they can see what you're doing not so they can be successful but just so they can watch you fall if you ever do fall watch what they do those people ain't the people that's going to be around you. You make it, you're doing something. All, they only want the free stuff. What they going to do? Oh, dog, that's my dog. We go back since school. Oh, we going to do this, yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? They going to do all that. And meanwhile, you put in all the work, all them late nights being awake, thinking about how you're going to make it be successful tomorrow. Thinking about your five-year plan. They thinking about 
Man, as soon as he fall and get off that high horse he on, he trying to make this and make that happen, he'll be back here and we can go kick it. Drop them people off. Like I said, crabs in the buckets, 2019. People are getting dropped off. Unfortunately, ain't getting picked back up. Some of them. You know, like I said, some of them might get rehired with you, but you can't really trust them being on your team because they wasn't there from the ground up. You know, it's real, real important, real important to think about who and what are people doing in your circle to help you get to where you're trying to go. They always say to take a village to raise one child. And so how do you think you're going to make it? You by myself. Drake said that all the time. I did it by myself. You ain't did shit by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. You might say you did it, but you can't. Those promoters, those other people that put it out there, they did that to promote you. I remember when he first started. My son know what I'm talking about. Well, I was there when he first started and had action to get him for $5,000. And another promoter came to me and brought it to me from L.A. Through Canada. So I know 100% sure he didn't do it by himself. Ask me if I'm lying. Definitely not. So anyway, out that being said, same thing with R. Kelly. Had the same action with R. Kelly. I had the same action with Kim Kardashian. Same thing. Back when I was in the music business, all this stuff in the beginning. And all these people came cheap. But other people helped them make it to where they was going. You look today in Portland. We got people, I ain't gonna shoot no shots, but we got people on the radio, we got DJs out there, we got everything else, and some of them people are not lending a hand. These people out here that's doing their music, doing their clothing, doing food, there's certain things that's going on, and the people in their own circle is not helping them the way they should be. I see it, they come to me and talk to me about it. I ain't shooting no shots, I ain't saying no names. I know y'all wonder who I'm talking about. But you know Northeast Portland, Yes, I did a lot of music stuff. I've done a whole bunch of things. Like I said, I got, as far as I made it up to is dealing with Prince. So if y'all want to check my files on that, you can check that out too. So anyway, <clears throat> back to what I'm saying. Crabs in a bucket. Think about what I'm talking about. People that's around you, drop them off. If they're not helping you, they're doing, they just all want the free stuff, the free tickets, the free this, the free that. Are they promoting your label? Are they promoting your brand? Are they promoting your food cart? They're promoting your store, your hair, your barber shop. What are they doing? They're looking out for themselves. They ain't paid for nothing. Why do it for them? Because they ain't going to advertise it. They're going to wear your stuff covered up and say, oh, dog, I'll rock your shirt today. You know what's going to happen? <laughs> ain't nobody going to see it. So why even give it to them free? They ain't going to tell nobody that they had it on. Right? So all I'm saying is crabs in a bucket. Y'all really think about what I'm talking about. You know, this episode is a little bit serious and it's frustrating because I see a lot of people doing these things and it's been happening year after year after year. Okay. This channel is serious, comedy, drinks, everything. So it is what it is. This one, one of them serious ones. So I'm just saying 2019, really think about what you're doing with the people around you and how they helping you. I'm going to close this and wrap this up here in a second. Like I said, if you didn't, like and subscribe, please do that, right? Show me you with me, right? Help me ride this thing out. That's all I'm saying, like and subscribe. Big D's at it again. Uh, please comment down below. If I said something that offended you, make sure you comment down below. If I said something you might like, comment down below. And if you don't like me, comment on the top so I can see it. Comment four or five times. I'm good with that too. So anyway, thanks for everybody making it through this episode, episode seven. I apologize for not showing you all the bottle I'm drinking on, but I'm back on this again. You know, I'm on that Crown XO. Got to pour me another one. Anyway, so Crown XO, get it when you can. If not, have somebody else get it for you. All right, episode seven. Closing up, wrapping it up. Thank you. Crabs in a bucket. Oh, yeah. Love, peace, and hair grease. That's how it goes down. All right. Thanks. <laughs> um, the, today's show is going to be about... Well, today's episode. I'll start over. <laughs> okay. Okay. Welcome to the show. 
today's channel. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. We're gonna have blooper reel. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do bloopers on this. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the channel. Today's episode number seven. Uh, it's about. Uh... <laughs> it's easy. Oh God. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to the show. Today's episode number seven. Uh, thank you. It's about. It's called Big D's Edit Again. Uh, today's topic is going to be crabs in a bucket. So stay tuned. Uh, if you can like and subscribe if you haven't already. Look forward to what's coming up. Did you like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Look forward. What's coming up here? Here, here, here. Like and subscribe. Okay. Like and subscribe, dear shit. Okay. All right.